What is up YouTube? So today we're going to lube up the rear axle bolt, the swing arm bolt, and the front uh, tire bolt. Alright, so what I'm going to grease uh, the axle bolt with, the bearing, uh, and this uh, bearing cover, I should probably take that off, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put on some ring grease. Um, you can use any grease you want, um, you're not going to load it or pack it, but you're just going to lightly coat uh, the bearing and the bolt. So let's get started. thing to remember is when you're putting grease on the bearing you don't want to get it anywhere inside the the uh, the hub uh, that's where your drum brakes are gonna sit if you get grease in there uh, it's not gonna your brakes aren't gonna work properly uh, so just lightly coat uh, that bearing uh, that way it has a uh, grease on it and uh, we'll go to the next spot Alright, so that's all I'm going to do uh, for the, the front tire. Next, I'm going to grease up the front axle bolt, or front tire bolt. Just lightly coat it. Like this. And now we're going to reinstall the front tire. Alright, so we just got the front uh, tire put back on, put the cotter pin in, and there you have it. Alright, so now I'm going to get started on the back tire. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take off the, the rear brake arm, um, got the little nut on, off. Then I'm going to uh, loosen the rear axle bolt and uh, see if we can get this back tire taken off. Alright, got the nut off. And let's see if we can get this tire off. rear tire off um, so as you can tell I clearly need to degrease this and uh, clean it up I need to lube this up uh, take off that rear drum and uh, lube up the bearings in there and lube up the axle bolt
One thing I forgot to mention is since I'm still using the stock uh, drum setup with the BBR swing arm, uh, you still use this uh, this drum arm. I'm not sure what it's called, um, but to get the back wheel off, uh, you can either remove it from the drum here or you can actually remove it from the swing arm. I chose to remove it from here uh, just because I thought it'd be a little bit easier. And one thing not to forget is when you put this uh, back on, you need to make sure you put the a new cotter pin back in the hole. All right, so we just got the back tire back on. We got the uh, brakes, the drum brakes back set up. Um, we got her back on, and uh, next I'm gonna do the swing arm bolt. Um, and then after I'm done with the video, I need to clean and lube this chain. Got one out. All right, so I'm gonna lube up these roller bearings. And lube up, lube up the sleeve. I'll wipe up the excess after, after we're done getting it assembled. All right, so now I'm gonna grease up that uh, swing arm bolt. It's a good thing I did this because those roller bearings and that swing arm, uh, they were getting dry. And you wanna make sure everything is greased up good. That way uh, you can make your bearings last longer and everything moves free like it should. You don't want anything to start rusting up and uh, getting dried up. So, there's that. Well, I didn't record for a little bit. Uh, I was having a little bit of trouble getting the bolt back on. Uh, so I just took this back off again and uh, took off the chain and now we got it in. All right, so we got the swing arm bolt back on. Uh, that's everything I'm gonna do for this video. Uh, so if you like what you saw, you wanna see uh, more videos similar to this, or uh, riding out on the trails, hitting jumps, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day.